Hey guys, it's been a while once again. I keep saying that I'm going to make these videos and I never do. I'm working on it. Um, but today I have a great video for you guys. I have I actually, I have been really excited about the PTR that's come out. And so today I just wanted to, I started playing with Alarak and I started noticing some of the differences between him and Artanis. And it kind of led me on this wild goose chase into like how auto attacks work and things like that. And so I just want to show you guys what I have noticed, what's what's been going on, and one of the things that, that makes Artanis so bad. Um, so to start off, I just want to explain, like I've been playing Artanis for the last couple of weeks. Um, just trying to like play around with him, do some different stuff. He's he's always been a hero that I hated um, because he's just like really awkward to play. He's bulky and he doesn't have a lot of mobility, and that's really not the type of hero that I like at all. Um, and if you want to like hear more about what I think, like there's a uh, there's a thread on Team Liquid called Bruiser Tennis is dot 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 okay, um, where I just go into the different types of experiments that I did with him. I tried playing him more bruisery than tank, etc. Um, but he still always felt bad. And that's one of the things that's always bothered me. So I loaded up a game of Tri-Mode with Alarak. As soon as the PTR came up, I was super excited. I, I wanted to test him out and see how he w worked. Um, by the way, he's really, really freaking awesome. Um, but the main thing I noticed is that he just has really clean auto attacks. So like, if you go and attack this, it, it's just like, it feels really good. Um, it's, it's just like, it's nice and responsive. And it feels like you can really follow people around and like really uh, get in these, these nice clean autos. Um, I did notice that you can do some do some weird things like you can cancel his auto a little bit. I, agree with this um, I don't know if this happens so much in online areas where you would have like a little bit of delay anyway. Vengeance. But like if you see like I can I can cancel it. Oblivion awaits. My decrees are and it'll still make the sound. Uh, this is kind of akin. I. Did some more testing and found out that Zeratul kind of also has this problem where you can um, cancel it. There's actually a lot of heroes that you can cancel their auto attacks a little bit. Um, but this one's really misleading, I think, because it actually makes the sound. So, like, you'll think that you're hitting something. Uh, like, if you're just kind of playing with the... Uh, if you're listening, if you're one of the people that does kiting by listening and by um pattern i agree with this decision. um not necessarily by like the visual like seeing the auto attack hit then you're likely to be one of those people that might have trouble with this My blade um i i personally i'm usually a very visual person like i still occasionally will cancel this auto like i think you saw me cancel it once or twice a minute ago See, it's just, it's really easy to cancel. Um, that's something that annoyed me. Uh, but overall, like, his auto attack is really, really cool. And if you see, this is this is the approach test that I've been using. So basically, this is just to, to measure how quickly, like, they walk up to something and attack it and then walk away. And you see, how that's really, really smooth. It's, it's like, you know, almost, like, mount... Like it almost looks like attack and then just move back instantly. Like there's not a lot of delay where he's standing here uh, waiting to attack the dummy. So this brings me to Artanis. Uh, afterwards, I loaded up a game of Braxis Holdout. Um, and that was, oh I was basically just trying to look at the map and see how it was. I, I don't have Alarat because I'm not going to spend money on him in PTR. Um, so I just loaded it up as Artanis because I've been playing Artanis a lot lately. And what I noticed was immediately when I started playing, like he just it, his attacks are horrible. His auto attacks are literally the worst thing in the world. Um, so 
I I wasn't sure if that was just because I was having lag or whatever because it was online. So I loaded up try mode to see what's what's happening. So um, we'll see what he does. Is if he goes up, I'm stopped, right? Okay. Um, he's gonna go up. He's just gonna stand there for a second and then attack, right? Um, I found out Zeratul kind of does this a bit too. Zeratul's autos are really slow where he kind of sits there for a second and then he autos. Uh, the proper term for this is damage point. Uh, this was a big thing back in StarCraft 2 when we were talking about Hellions and stuff like that. Um, if you know anything about StarCraft 2, Hellions are notorious for they basically run into the mineral line and then they sit still and like stun themselves for like half a second and then they attack. Um, and it's it's really exploitable because you can't really kite with them. It's it's not like uh, vultures from Brood War or anything like that. Um, so basically, that's the same thing that Artanis has here. He has a really large um, damage point. That's about half a second uh, where he runs up, and it takes him a long time to attack. Right? It takes him a long time to like actually do it. However, what I did notice is Artanis actually has a very special auto attack. Um, as I said earlier, with Alarak, there's actually a lot of heroes that you can cancel the auto attacks with. Uh, as far as I know, Artanis' auto attacks cannot be canceled. So, like, as soon as, as soon as you actually start attacking, you can go in the other direction. And it, it creates this really weird dynamic. So, like, this is how you would kite with most other... Other heroes. This is, uh, and this is kind of why I don't play by visual, because this is how you would do it if you were playing visually. You don't move until until the attack lands. Um, but what you can do is you can actually start moving before the attack actually lands, and he'll always hit it. I don't know if you can. I don't know if it's like really obvious. But it's it's like it's really weird the way that he kind of slides along. Um. So you can see like the approach test. Like he attacks very slow. That that's a lot less clean than Alarax was. Um. But he has this kind of weird slide. Um. And if you want to see it against the Arthas bot, I can show you. So. Alright, good stuff. Um, so basically, it just means that like if you're trying to body block, you can actually start moving ahead of time. And uh, just a minor note, uh, use Twin Blades to cancel your auto attack. So you attack and then Twin Blades immediately. That's how you get the most out of it. Um, so this is really interesting, really interesting behavior that I found about Artanis. As far as I know, no other hero plays like that. I tried testing it out with several different heroes that have uh, similar auto attacks. Uh, people like Zeratul. I can show you Zeratul. Um, Zeratul has a, has a pretty unique auto attack. Um, it's very slow. He, uh, he does a little bit of waiting. It's easy to cancel. Um, and actually, the more that I look at it, it's actually probably the worst auto attack in the game, but <laughs> probably worse than Artanis's. So you see, like he he'll come up to it and he waits a little bit. I guess Artanis still waits a little bit longer. Um, like you can you can also you can also cancel his auto attacks really easily. Like it's really easy to cancel his auto attacks. And so I'm sure that's something you've experienced plenty of times when you're playing, where you're like you're about to get that last hit, and then you go, then then you like whiff it. You're like, ugh. Oh, I'm I'm actually having trouble canceling it now. There we go. Like you whiff it, and you're just like, ugh. Anger. Um. So if you look, this is like the approach test. So it comes up, takes a second, attacks, and then turns around. Um. Basically, the approach test is, is basically how long 
It takes them from the time that they get to the dummy and to the time that they dismount. Um, the and it, like on Artanis, it takes a really long time. He gets here and he goes, and then he attacks it. With Alarak, he gets here and immediately attacks it, right? So, and you can do some interesting stuff. Um, but that's that's Zeratul. I also tried out. Um, you who else did I try out? I know Greymane has a a bit of a weird auto attack. I tried him out a bit. I tried Dahaka. Dahaka is... He has an easily cancelable attack. Uh, but it's probably closer to Artanis. Greymane. So, Greymane in Worgen form, I don't know if you've ever... If, if you really pay attention to professional games, you'll notice that when they clear camps and stuff in Worgen form, they will move before... The auto attack is actually hit or like it'll they'll be moving as soon as the auto attack hits um the monster mercenary so basically this is human form uh it's a bit weird his human form because it it takes a long time to fire but as soon as as soon as like the bullet comes out of the gun like it'll always hit like it's hard like you cannot cancel it once the bullets come out of the gun which is a good thing um, and also the, the, the bullet like accelerates, which is totally like nonsensical. It's backwards from everything. Um, but yeah, so in Morgan form. Like, this is what you'll see a lot in pro games. Um, if I wait for inner beast to wear off. On the move. No more I'm gonna get used to all these different attack speeds. Um, you can cancel his auto attacks pretty easily. Because he has kind of a, a wind up time. But like... As soon as it hits, like you can move. It's it's a little bit weird, I guess. Just I think it mostly has to do with the animation, just looking weird. Um, but basically, all of this goes to say, I did a lot of testing to to look at the intricacies of exactly how people are attacking. Um, and it turns out that that Artanis just has a very unusual auto attack. And I think it's actually not as bad as I gave it credit for originally, because I never noticed this weird behavior where you can, where like the auto attack will always finish. So basically, what this means is I think a lot of people have been playing Artanis a little bit incorrectly, um, because a lot of us. I mean, obviously, there's there's still some problems with this base kit. Like, I'm not I'm not even gonna pretend that there's not problems with this base kit and his talents and things like that. Um, but I think, I think one of the large parts of frustration that people have is just the, how clunky he feels. Because you do this, and it feels like you're just, just doesn't feel good. Like when you start playing it with the float a little bit, um, you can actually kite a lot more effectively than you thought. Like uh, this is one of my one of my favorite things to do is kite around the knights. Okay, whatever. Um, oh, cool. I don't know. You could actually switch with that. Um, so overall, Artanis is a pretty cool character. He has a lot of like weird little things. To him. As was just a quirk that I noticed. I wonder if it actually makes a difference. I'm gonna try doing it in my future games. But it's something that I that I noticed due to Alarak, so it's pretty cool, pretty cool stuff. Um, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Let me know if you have any comments, concerns, ideas down below, and I will see you guys next time on the next Hot Thoughts.